<laughs> A strange machine and some weird drone things? Hmm, that is troubling. Someone's been in there. We'll have to let the Maori know about this. It's good you disabled the device, though. Maybe now the Kellids will calm down. I took a look at those biological samples while you were gone, but I can't do much more than a basic tricorder scan. It's just not my area. Devex might be able to help. He was an engineer in the Romulan military before the homeworld was destroyed. Now he's helping us with our water supply and anything else that takes more specialized knowledge. You should talk to him. Congratulations, citizen! What do you need with an old space hound like me? Hmm. I have an idea of what this might be. Maybe. I saw something like this once before, when I was out beyond the Eridon belt. We responded to a distress call from a mining outpost. When we got there, all the people were just gone, vanished without a trace. The only things we found were a strange beacon and some odd spore samples. These look very similar. Sure, use whatever you want. I remember what we found back on the outpost. Bring the samples to me when you're done, and I can help you determine the results. I've only seen fungal biotech like this once before. Remember that mining station that I mentioned? Before we arrived, they reported several disappearances. Some thought it was paranoia, but we had reports that said intruders would beam in right through the colony's magnetic shield, right into someone's quarters, sedate them, and then vanish without a trace. We didn't know what to believe. But I don't think those miners were paranoid. Something did happen to them. And it could happen again. That's what my commander believed. We found a beacon with almost the same configuration as the one you found. We weren't able to get much from it before we shut it down. But the one thing we learned is that the beacon was made by a race that called themselves the Alachi. We stayed in orbit for a few days, but the Elachi never came back. That's good news for us, seeing that you disabled the beacon you found in the caverns. That's right. He's the man in charge, so he needs to know. I'd be surprised if he doesn't want to send someone down there to analyze that beacon. Could be these Elachi were interested in our colony for some reason. Lucky for us, you were there to put a stop to whatever they were trying to do. Jolan True. I heard Avrak yelling all the way over here. I'm sorry you had to deal with his problems on our day of celebration. Hmm, that does sound very mysterious. However, you seem to have taken care of the immediate problem, disabling this beacon and dispatching the drones. You have my thanks. I'll assign some engineers to examine the device and set up surveillance on the cave as soon as possible. What the Vex says is true. We don't want that beacon turned on again. Now that's settled. Why don't you try to relax for a while? Enjoy the festival. We'll talk again tomorrow after the engineers have finished their analysis of the device. Are you done for the day? I'm just finishing up too. I'm going to head back to the restaurant. Meet me for a drink when you're done. Hey there. Long day?
I can't believe how far this colony has come. Just look at how much we can accomplish without being ruled by the Tall Shi'ar. Word is, someone named Atan is trying to fight them, but... but me? I'm content with what we have here. Let's go enjoy the festival. Friends and neighbors, welcome to the tapping. The Kellid nectar has been harvested, the ale is brewed, and we can finally taste the fruits of our labors. And like this fine vintage, our colony has taken time and effort to develop. Since the loss of the homeworld 22 years ago, we have known fear, hunger, and pain. We have struggled, and we have overcome every difficulty. We have mourned those who are no longer with us, and we have welcomed new friends into our home. And now we celebrate. The trials are behind us. Viranat is prosperous and growing. We will face new challenges in the future, but we will face them together.
is ready. We got as many people aboard as we'll fit. We have to go. Congratulations, Lieutenant.